got Coach uh, Jody Grant of the uh, Dexter Girls uh, soccer soccer team. They're getting ready for their season that starts next week. And um, uh, Jody, first of all, just uh, how is preseason going? Preseason's gone pretty well so far. We're trying to work on, you know, getting in game shape and you know, creating some of those bonds with with teammates and friends. And and so certainly we've had a good uh, week in well, almost two full weeks now after tomorrow. And um, you got a large, large group of seniors. Um, um, how are they providing uh, leadership for this group? Yeah, that that always changes from year to year. Um, and so this group it is a large group of seniors, um, but they are also trying to, to to figure some of that stuff out in the preseason. Is who's going to emerge and uh, in some of those leadership roles, both on and off the field. So that's that's certainly also been a been a work in progress here this this preseason. What are your uh, maybe some of your strengths of um, for this group? Well, I think we, we bring back uh, a lot uh, the, the goals that we scored last season. Our goal scorers are back. Um, we're going yet we are going to change a lot defensively. Uh, losing a three year keeper in Jasmine Lewis and also Elizabeth Kinney. Those are our only two seniors, but they played significant positions. So we've got to 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 do some things in the back uh, and also in the net to to work on those, you know, to make those some of our strengths as well. But certainly uh, our goals, our ability to goal, to, to hopefully put the ball in the back of the net uh, with, a, with a large number of goal scorers back from last year uh, certainly will help. I think the other part of that too is that we didn't rely on one person to score all those goals. Uh, we have three or four kids that can put the ball in the back of the net. Um, and I, I think that makes us a little bit more dynamic offensively. Who are some of those uh, girls that put the ball in the back of the net? Yeah, so Jillian Poliquin, um, Callie Gudrow, and Abby Corson, our three front line players, are all back. Uh, we got a couple of freshmen, I think, that will get some time up front as well. Um, and then we return Annika King as our starting uh, center half. Uh, Tammy Cummings returns at right half, and, and Jocelyn Page returns at left half. So really, that part of the field, all those kids come back. It's just going to be the defense and then Hannah Dean uh, will take over for Jasmine and she's just got to get, you know, some repetitions and some games under her belt. Um, and so hopefully we'll, we'll experience some of that uh, during the preseason. So you said Hannah is going to be in, in goal? Correct. She yep. will be our full-time goalie uh, going forward here. Yep. Um, so she's going to try to, you know, obviously replacing Jasmine isn't going to be easy, but she's going to um, try to fill that role. Uh, maybe who, um, a person or two that maybe try to replace uh, Elizabeth? Yeah, Macy Deering um, has been gone for the last few days. She's in Alabama for a couple of days. Um, but we're going to look to her to try to anchor that defense. And Sydney Dyson also returns. And she's kind of been a, a, a that's sort of what I'm looking for, like a Swiss, a Swiss Army knife in her four years here. She's played a lot of different spots, uh, a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense. And so we're really hoping she can also go back and, and really sure up uh, the defense uh, going forward for us. Now, this – um. I know you had a season last year, but this is kind of like the first normal season back after COVID. Is it, how's the whole mindset of the team? And, and you got a large, large group of what, 20, 20 kids or so. So, you know, how's the mindset and uh, the attitude of the group? It's been great. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, even going back to last year, it was, was a lot different than, than the, the, the extreme COVID year of, you know, no, no playoffs. I mean, at least last year's team got a chance to experience that. You know, our seniors a couple of years ago, including my own daughter, she they were really disappointed uh, in that, that there was no soccer playoffs. Mm -hmm. And some of those kids that had, had really played a lot of soccer for four years didn't have that opportunity. You know, Wakefield and Beam and Peaks and Wintel and some of those kids that had really played a lot of soccer and, and, and on some really good teams mm -hmm. uh, didn't get a chance to experience that. So last year was was was, was a lot different. Um, and so I don't, I don't think there's been any different feel from this year, even and going back to last year. Lastly, and I'm not going to ask your expectations on record, but um, how do you think um, this group can maybe compete with, um, you know, some, you know, obviously Bucksport, MCI, a couple, a couple of the favorites in, in Class C. How do you think they can they can compete on a daily basis and improve as the season goes on? Yeah, well, that's what we're looking to do is continually improve, and I do. I think I think our schedule is is really really good. Uh, you mentioned both Bucksport and MCI. Central girls are good. Orono. Uh, we also play uh, Class B at Foxcroft Academy. They're always very, very tough. Um, and so that, that's what we're hoping to accomplish. I don't know where we are going to eventually stand. This is a new group mm -hmm. juggling some pieces around. Uh, and so that's what we're hoping to do is compete. And then through that, uh, constant improvement, you know, on a daily basis, if we really come and are willing to work hard, 
um, then, then we're going to get better. But where that puts us, who knows? Fort Kent's always really good in the north. We don't see them in the regular season. Uh, and then some of the teams down east, you know, are typically, they'll, they'll always have a team or two that's in the mix between Callis and Guegas and some of those particular schools. So it's always really competitive. Excellent. Thank you. Good luck. No problem. Thanks, Mark. All right, start over here. Um, just uh, how's uh, how's preseason going? Um, it's going pretty good. We're trying to communicate and work together as a team. Um, you know, you guys are, are seniors on this uh, team. Do you uh, consider yourself um, leaders of this group? Yeah, there's nine of us. So last year we only had two, and I think we lead pretty well as a group. Yeah. And um, you know, kind of, how do you provide leadership for the younger younger kids on the team? Um, showing them how to do drills and being vocal and just saying how to do drills and stuff. Yeah, and um, what, maybe what do, what do you think are the, the strengths of, of, of the team? Um, our communication has gone very well over the course of the preseason so far, but I think also our leadership where there's so many of us in the positions we play, it really helps bring our team just more together. And I guess we just play really well together for knowing each other so well. Yeah, and um, to you, how, how's uh, how's the preseason going um, overall, and um, what have you kind of built on this preseason? Um, it's going really well. Um, definitely getting closer as a team with um, new players, even new seniors. Um, just kind of building a relationship and kind of just starting to get in the group of soccer this season. So. Yeah, and you guys, um, I think you've only had one game, right? So yeah, yes, we had yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. and um, you know, so. Did you kind of, you know, kind of learn anything from that and, and what you are as a team? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it was really good for us to be able to get on the field and kind of like see how we work together as a team and how we need to fill in spots and communicate with each other, which I think honestly went pretty well. I think our game was pretty successful and we all did that really well. Um, I personally have moved to defense, so it's been a learning curve for me, but um, my teammates are very helpful with that, so that's good. Um, you know, maybe some uh, things you guys have to work on as a team. I feel like this year we, even though we've grown during like communication, I feel like we should grow more on that and like getting open for the ball instead of just shooting it down the field and actually seeing if people are there. Um, any anybody here? It doesn't matter who. Um, what are you like expectations um, for a team, Jillian? What do you expect for the team as a maybe not necessarily record wise, but what are your expectations? Definitely a lot of communication and just being as a team and not getting angry at each other. I think getting communication is very key for us mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. And um, anybody else have uh, anything? Personally, I really think of like staying positive, you know, encouraging your teammates and not getting <coughs> negative after a goal is scored against you or you do something wrong. Like just keeping your head up and encouraging mm -hmm. others is really important for me. So I think it's helpful. I think boosting each other's self confidence if we make a mistake on a field is helpful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you guys. Good luck this year. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.